Okay, um, because our DDC pump uh, and top combo does not come pre-assembled, I figured I'd make you guys a quick video to show you how easy it really is to do this. Um, really, the video shouldn't be necessary, but anyway. Um, when you receive your order, basically you'll get uh, the pump, uh, DDC top, a couple hose barbs, and four, and four stainless steel screws. Uh, the only tools you'll need for assembly would be a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> okay, uh, first, just basically flip your DDC over, uh, and you'll see that there are four screws on the bottom of the pump. Um, these screws just hold the top on, nothing really to worry about. The pump isn't going to randomly explode once you take them off. It's pretty simple. Uh, so you just use your flat blade screwdriver, and you remove the four screws. So you just I usually remove them in kind of a star pattern. You loosen one, then you loosen the one in the opposite corner, and then you loosen the one that's next to that one. It's really easy. Um, now, because the stock uh, screws are self-tapping screws, um, they're a little stiff uh, when it comes to getting them out. So you kind of have to push down on them, you want to make sure you don't strip them and that sort of thing. Um, but again, it's really simple. So you just kind of keep going back and forth here. I should just be able to remove these now. Okay. Now that they've been loosened, they just come right out. As you can see, they're pretty short screws. Um, after that, just kind of hold everything together with your fingers and set the pump down. And you can lift the top right off. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, there's an O-ring right here. Um, actually, I'll hold it up a little. There's an O-ring right here. This is what seals uh, the inside of the pump. Uh, sometimes that O-ring can get stuck to the uh, the surface at the top here. Um, so if when you take it apart and you don't see an O-ring in the little groove here, it's probably stuck to the top of the pump. Make sure that you put it back in the groove. Uh, if it's not there, you'll just end up with a leaky pump. Okay, so we just put this aside. And uh, we take the Petrus Tech DDC T01 top. Um, it's easier to do this without putting the barbs on first. And uh, we put it on the pump like so. Um, orientation doesn't really matter. You can put it on in any direction that you feel like putting it on. Whichever is most convenient for you, I'm just going to put it on um, with the outlet facing in the same direction uh, that it was previously, or with the original top. Anyway, so once you have that on, take the pump, flip it over, and just kind of line it up here. The back should be flush with the pump. The outlet side will come out a tiny bit. So, you just uh, take the included screws and drop them in. And they should just sort of fall right into place for the most part. And then grab your Phillips screwdriver. And again, just uh, tighten them in the same way that they were removed. Just pick one corner and start tightening. And just uh, go in a little ways and then go to the opposite corner. Uh, the, the star pattern isn't really necessary, but um, it just sort of helps evenly distribute the force. Uh, that way you don't end up cranking one side down and um, ending up trying to screw something in crooked or cross-threading or whatever it is that some people manage to miraculously do. Um, just kind of keep screwing them in. Um, as for how tight they should be, um, the screws should, you should basically screw them in until they don't really want to turn anymore, or at least uh, turn easily. You don't have to, uh, you know, get out a torque wrench or anything to put them on. It's pretty simple stuff. Just tighten them down like that. And just kind of make sure they're tight, and, um, yeah, just make sure you don't strip the screw heads. 
Okay, now that that's done, screws are in, tops on, that's pretty much it. Um, after that you just take the uh, included barbs, these are the Danger Den barbs, um, some of you guys, a lot of you guys prefer the EA barbs, either way, they'll both work just fine. Um, the one thing to note about the Danger Den barbs is if you over tighten them, um, it'll actually cause the o-ring to bulge out from underneath the barb and it will leak, so don't over tighten these. Finger tight is usually fine for the dead end barbs, actually. Just squin and you can't make them go any farther with your fingers. There's no point in taking them anymore unless, um, unless they leak, and at which nothing more than a quarter turn usually. Anyway, um, that completes the mission process. Uh, and now you just uh, hook some tubing to it and plug it in and 